Hey, 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 this is Coach Greg with Svelte Training. Today we'll be doing a banded shoulder rehab exercise routine. So if you are dealing with any shoulder pain, tendonitis, bursitis, all that kind of stuff, like I am currently, I've been dealing with it for a little while now. Um, these are some exercises that I think uh, will help you. So hopefully you can add it to your toolbox. Um, without further ado, let's jump right into it. If you are already a subscriber here at Svelte, then welcome back. We're so glad to see you again. Uh, and if you're new, welcome. We are also equally as glad to see you. So feel free to stick around, stay a while, subscribe if you feel inclined, click the notification bell, stay on top of any new videos dropping. Um, but let us jump right into these exercises. As always, we're gonna be doing two sets. First set is gonna be me more explaining and demonstrating the exercises while you follow along. Well, that second set will be a more complete run through, less talking, more doing. So without further ado, our first exercise are gonna be banded pull aparts. This is my one of my favorites to test my shoulder mobility and flexibility to see like where I'm at, um, especially with my shoulder pain. Uh, that's why resistance bands are so amazing because we don't, with weight, you, whatever the, the weight is, that is gonna be consistent throughout the whole movement that you're doing. But with um, resistance bands, you're only gonna feel that most tension at its um, whatever, uh, its most stretch, if that makes sense. I don't think it does, but hopefully you understand what I'm saying. However, it's like uh, the tension uh, is different from at different points, right? For this, this is a banded pull apart. You're gonna wanna put your uh, hands in front of you. You wanna grab it. Uh, whoever you grab it will uh, you know, make it either more uh, tense or less tense or like uh, strength wise. So I usually grab it a little past shoulder width like so, especially if you're doing with shoulder pain, you don't want, you just want to ease into it. So all we're doing is taking our hands and all we're trying to do is bring that uh, band to our chest. So we're just pulling apart just like that. This is all we're doing. But as you can see, uh, when it's at this moment right here, this is where there is the most tension on my body and on the band, but then when I release, oh, it's a little easier. So that, again, is why I love resistance bands. Because if I was using like dumbbells or something, there would be the same weight, same tension throughout the whole exercise. So this allows you to go into deeper ranges of motion without uh, fear of hurting yourself or fatigue and things like that. So as I said, this first exercise, banded pull aparts. This is great for really opening up that chest, um, that back. If there's any pinched nerves, you'll be able to not feel it, but the goal is just to like loosen up everything around your shoulders at the same time without going right into like this crazy shoulder uh, routine. So we got 30 seconds. Let's just, again, ease into it. Go whatever resistance band is good for you. I think I have, this is like either a light or a medium. Um, again, you can use whatever, whatever you feel like it. You know your body best. Make sure you talk to your doctor and stuff, but especially if you're dealing with shoulder pain, sometimes we think we just have to sit there and just like let it go away, but which again, rest is important, ice, all that stuff, but there are some exercises that we can do like this one that can help strengthen those little tendons, those, those little muscles that may not be as worked as they should be. So 30 seconds and let us go. I've been playing a lot of basketball and volleyball, so it's a lot of arm swinging movements. So something like this right before your uh, workout, even first thing in the morning, this is just like a very light way to um, stretch those muscles out without hurting them, without fatiguing them. And again, if you feel pain, don't push past it. That's not what it's about. But there we go, just like that. We're just squeezing, pulling. I'll go from this way so you can see. Couple more seconds, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, next we have some lateral side raises. This one is usually gonna test for me. I already know this is gonna hurt, not hurt, but um, this is the one where I, my range of motion is limited because of uh, my little injury happening there. You'll be able to see the difference between uh, the different arms. But again, you usually wanna work on your weaker side first, in my opinion, because sometimes we work on our stronger side and we're like, yeah, going crazy, expending all our energy, but then when we get to our weaker side, you know, we don't have that as much energy. It's all about, especially when it comes to your body, like you want to work on your weak side, you don't want to only work on your, your strengths. Um, you, you, want, you want it to be even. So what you're gonna wanna do is stand, either with one foot, both foot, depends on the tension on your resistance band. And all we're doing is, the goal is to raise our arm, just like this. You can do this with dumbbells, you can do this 
with just <laughs> said air, <laughs> with nothing, your body weight. So all we're doing is raising up just like that. So we're gonna do 15 seconds. I like to uh, keep my arm as straight as possible um, and just like almost like lock it in because I really just want to pull from uh, my shoulder just like that. And again, whatever range of motion you have, the goal is just to get to a place where you feel that tension and then boom, drop it just like that. We're not trying to go crazy and like, look how flexible I am. We're just trying to rehab our shoulders smoothly, safely, gently. So 30 seconds, we can do 15 seconds each arm and let's go. So here you go, just raise it. Make sure you're breathing, just like that. Boom. Again, you can go whatever range you're comfortable with. Let's switch sides. Since this arm doesn't hurt, I can go bam. It's not the goal. I really just want to make sure we're evening everything out. Keep that arm straight. seconds three two and one great job next we are this is gonna be a little tricky uh, in the sense of like positioning now if you have like something to tie your resistance band off to something like this the goal is we're trying to get this 90 degree um, internal rotation like that so if you have something to tie it off to feel free to do that but if not here's a nifty trick I've learned you can just use your body. So you're just gonna grab diagonally like this. And all we're doing is gonna put it behind our shoulder blades like so. As if you're trying to like sheath the sword on your back. <laughs> just like that. And all we're doing is extending until we get to 90 degrees on our arm. And all we're doing is rotating that elbow in like that and up. So you're gonna feel the tension about this whole exercise because as you can see, I have to pull and I have to stabilize. This feels amazing on your shoulders. So we're gonna do 30 seconds, 15 seconds each side. Here we go. And let's go. Boom. Really focus on rotating. We really wanna get our shoulders in all the ranges of motion. Some of them are gonna be easier for you than others. The ones that are like kind of like the sticking points, those are the ones you're gonna be more gentle with but also work through uh, the most. So here we go, let's switch sides. Again, as if you're sheathing a sword. Just like that, boom. And rotate, boom. Yeah, this feels awesome on the shoulder, honestly. You can go as gentle, as fast and slow as you need to. A couple more seconds. Three, two, and one, great job. Last but not least, uh, this one, I call them breakaways, but um, they're like just overhead band pull throughs. It's as if you're like pulling your body, like boom, through the band, just like that. Feels a little tricky, cause it's like, you're like, wait, am I breaking my arms? You're not. Um, you could technically do this without a resistance band, but all we're doing is trying to get our arms in a bunch of different positions. Um, but something like a resistance band or even like a broomstick really helps um, seal the deal. But we just want to, almost like what we started with, with the pull aparts, we're going to hold the resistance band taut in our hands. And all we're doing is going to bring our arms slowly overhead. And we just want to pull that resistance band apart until we can get our arms behind our back like so. So once you feel a resistance band touch your back, we're just going to extend all the way up. Something like resistance band allows us to really create that tension to straighten our arms. Because if we're doing it by ourselves, it's kind of hard to get, you know, trick our body into bringing our arm all the way back. But when you have something in your arms or your hands like this, you can go all the way up, roll those shoulders back, and just like that. And again, if you're feeling pain, don't push it. Um, feel free to skip this exercise. But this one, honestly, is really good for opening up your shoulders. My shoulder flexibility is so off compared to other parts of my body. Um, that's why I, I try to do my best to do these type of exercises in the morning and at night. So 30 seconds. Here we go. Boom. Just really pull. Boom. Just like that. Make sure you're breathing. Oof. 
through. Go just like that. Shake your shoulders out if you need to. Do one more after this. There you go. And up. And back down. Good job. Oof. Roll those shoulders. I feel good. I feel pretty good. I like that. All right, that was your first set. Now we're gonna get on to that second set right now. Grab some art if you need to. Like I am, I am tired, but we're having fun. Right, we're gonna do all four exercises, back to back to back to back. You should feel good, you should know what you're doing now. Again, you know your body better than anyone. Be, be gentle, be kind, but also don't be afraid to push yourself a little bit to strengthen your arms and that kind of stuff. So hopefully these exercises are helping you. Um, hopefully you're feeling good. All right, 30 seconds. We're doing pull aparts, just like so. And begin. Just like that. We have our lateral raises. Step inside. We're raising arm up just like this. 15 each side and 50 seconds. And go. There we go. Make sure you're breathing. To be honest, I probably would have used a different resistance band, especially for this shoulder, but it is what it is. Squeeze up, switch sides. Just like that. One day this arm will get as strong as this one. Let's do one more. And bam, good stuff. All right, next we have those internal rotation sword wielding ones just like this. Let's put 30 seconds, 15 seconds each side. And let's go. There we go. Focus on rotating elbow. Look like this. All right, next side. Just like that. Three, two, and one. Good job. Last but not least, we have those breakaway pull-throughs. Just like that. Just going overhead. Pulling our arms all the way through and then back over. All right, 30 seconds. We got this. Finish strong. And let's go. Extend your arms, overhead, and pull. Good job. Pull. One more, come on, finish strong. And done. Great job. I hope that uh, really helped your shoulders. This is a quick, friendly shoulder rehab workout. Definitely helped me. I feel a lot more uh, flexibility, uh, less pain in the shoulder right now. I feel like better range of motion. So the goal is like you could do this morning, evening. Again, go at your own pace. Like you can, you have like a couple minutes throughout your day. Grab a resistance band and start uh, working out those shoulders because tendonitis, bursitis, like. Then it'll go away easily, but with enough training, with enough rest and care for your body, you will be back up. Volleyball, basketball, whatever it is that you do, like I do, um, it's gonna be amazing. So if you like this video, please feel free to share with some friends, comment, let me know what you would like to see uh, in future videos. I'm Coach Greg, I will see you on the next one.